So episode 4 aired yesterday and I have to say it was probably the favourite episode so far. The storylines are developing with Tariq working with the Tardis, Brayden is now his right hand man, Tariq's love triangle, the storyline with Drew's sexuality and Davis McLean vs Cooper Sacks taking twists and turns. I'm breaking down the teaser for episode 5, the mid-season finale and what to expect. So welcome back to MovieBot and let's talk about the mid-season finale. So quick thoughts on episode 4 because I do like to rewatch the episode after I've watched it the first time and if you haven't seen it or missed my episode review and recap video then I'll leave the link to it in the description and in the comment section down below. But it was a much better episode, I genuinely enjoyed this episode, it's probably my favourite episode so far this season of Power Book 2, mainly because we're finally seeing Tariq working with Monet and the Tahadas. We can actually see key storylines being played out now with Tariq's love triangle and Drew's storyline and I was beginning to wonder where they were going with Jabari and Kyrie's relationship and them being on book 2 but we found out there's some history between Kyrie and Davis McLean so I don't think that's the last we've heard from that either but overall genuinely a good episode I just think it's a shame there's going to be a break after the next episode because we're literally just starting to see all of the storylines pick up but hopefully they leave us a lot to talk about in the next week or so but having given my thoughts on the episodes let's go straight into the teaser for episode 5 of Power Book 2 Ghost which will be the mid-season finale so I'm expecting fireworks I hope you are as well and this is the mid-season finale like I just said and they've announced this episode as you won't believe what's coming so I hope they're right and we'll see Tariq talking to Brayden and explaining who he's working for the Tahadas and he's not only telling them who he's working for He's explaining to Brayden using the chessboard. He basically allocates the Tahad as a piece in the chessboard. Monet is the queen, Kane is the rook, Drew is the knight and Diana is the bishop. But who are his pawns? The pawns seem to be the ones who work for him. Although I think his right hand man Brayden may be a bit more than just a pawn. But he did use Brayden when he tactically used Scott and Brayden both to eliminate his competition. But what is Tariq? Because he's been making offensive moves like life is a basically a chess game being two steps ahead of his competition and he literally is treating the game and his college life like it's a chessboard. Being two steps ahead of his competition, we saw him tactically get rid of Scott who was his competitor at Stansfield and what does that remind you of? It's a similar play that Effie made in the original Power series when she got rid of Tariq because he emerged as her competitor at Choate so what did she do? She got rid of her only competitor exactly the same way that Tariq played it with Scott in the last episode and Tariq may have learned a thing or two from Effie. And well I've already spoken about Tariq being smart, he knew that Drew was being sent to keep an eye on him at college when he started selling for Monet and the same is going to happen in episode 5 when Monet sends Diana instead. And I've already said he's treating this like a game of chess so he seems to be two moves ahead of this as well. Or is it that they want us to believe he's two steps ahead because in the teaser Monet sends Diana to get Tariq alone and get some information but Tariq will know this, that's what Diana is there for which is why I think he leaves with Lauren instead. And I got the question from Dennis B on my review and recap video who is the best for Tariq, Diana or Lauren? I genuinely think it has to be Lauren because even though she's not in the game, well not that we know of anyway but I doubt she would be. But Diana is basically just another chess piece on Tariq's chessboard and Tariq will treat her like one. Diana may be a bishop in terms of the Tarda organisation but I feel that he'll use her like a pawn because he knows that Monet will be sending her just to get information from him whereas Lauren, she's got the personality to challenge Tariq and they're on the same wavelength when it comes to academics and I just feel like a guy like Tariq who's in the game will always have a girl who's straight as a book just like Ghost had with Angela but I genuinely think he'll fall for both like he said to Lauren, he has options and there does seem to be chemistry between both two but I just feel Lauren will ultimately be the one for Tariq but hey that's just my opinion. If you guys have another one then let me know your thoughts down below. And this is exactly how Tariq played it out in the teaser for episode 5 when Diana came to Stansfield after Monet sent her. I bet you would probably said the same thing to Diana that he said to Lauren in the last episode that he has options when he walked off with Lauren. The way Diana's face dropped is priceless, maybe I just prefer him being with Lauren. And it looks like Tariq is going to have Kane watching him in the next episode. Well, I wouldn't say watching him, but he's definitely going to be in and around Stansfield because I don't think Monet will fully trust Drew to do what he's been asked to do. We've already seen that he's going to be a bit of a liability for them. That's why I think Monet has asked Diana to go and get some information off Tariq instead. And Monet trusts Kane more than Drew as well. We've already seen this when Monet tells him that she can always count on him, but it was always the complete opposite when she gave the speech to Drew. It was all about trying to convince him never to turn his back on his family. So Kane is really the one that Monet trusts. But then again, 
Lorenzo wants Drew to step up in the game so this is going to be an interesting one that's going to play out because I'm going to go into it in a lot more detail tomorrow in a separate video where I talk all about Kane, Drew and Monet and a bit about Lorenzo as well and how that storyline could play out with Drew so I'll probably be uploading that video tomorrow. But I wonder what this scene is all about with Tariq because he does look like he's in some distress. I have no idea what it could be so if you guys have any ideas then drop me your thoughts down below. But let's talk about Davis McLean, Cooper Sacks and Tamika because I've got a feeling that we're going to see Cooper Sacks doing everything he can to bring Tamika over to his side instead and I wouldn't be surprised if he's used every single shady tactic in his book and I really wouldn't be surprised if we see Cooper Sacks telling Tamika that if he's going down then he'll probably take her with him and I think this is where Davis McLean has gone to which is Tamika's place and Cooper Sacks back with Tariq. We all know what they're going to be talking about and they'll be talking about how they were both at truth and it's probably because the heat is being ramped up on Cooper Sacks and I really hope something happens with Tasha's case in the next episode because it just feels like they're going round in circles with her case and it's just not going anywhere so I really hope they start to move that on quicker and had a few comments yesterday about Tariq and whether he clocked Riley and knew that she was there to spy on him from Sax because obviously he realized that Drew was there because Monet's told him to keep an eye on him and in the next episode Diana's going to be doing the same thing trying to get information from Tariq but I think this one might be just a bit of a reach I genuinely don't think that he knew that Riley was a spy but if he did then wow yeah that's all I've got to say so let me know what you guys thought about the episode 4 and the teaser for episode 5, the mid-season finale. I think it'll be the best episode that's been aired so far, that's for sure. And we may even see a death or two in the next episode because I don't think we've seen any for what, two episodes now? And they may be bringing some heat and more street action into book 2 in the 5th episode. But I think that'll happen as the season goes on anyway and it'll get a lot darker. So drop me your thoughts down below. I'll try and reply to as many comments as I can and get involved. If you haven't done so already, remember to smash the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.